Hello, and welcome to the video tutorial for the Scholastic Literacy Pro Library User Guide. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use Literacy Pro Library as a student. Let's get started. After signing into Scholastic Learning Zone, the student will click on the Literacy Pro Library icon. The first screen that the student will see is the home screen. The home screen contains various information such as the lexile, the number of assigned books, the number of completed books, the words read, and the time spent reading. The student will also see all of the books assigned by their teacher and the books that they have selected themselves. You can use the arrows on either side to scroll through the various books. The students will also have the option to change their avatar to find one that suits them best. Now, onto the books screen. The books screen contains all of the books that are available to that student. To find a specific book, the student can enter a keyword, author, or title into the search bar. Or, if they prefer, they can use one of the many filters on the left-hand side. On the cover of each book, there are three different icons. The quiz icon will bring the student directly to the Literacy Pro quiz. The progress icon shows the student's progress in that particular book. And the info icon, which brings up the info pop-up. The info pop-up shows all of the information for the selected ebook, including author, title, page count, word count, a summary, and of course, the Literacy Pro interest categories. There is also a quiz button and a read ebook button. To begin reading, the student can click or tap for tablet users on the cover of an ebook. This will open up the ebook reader. To flip between pages, use the arrows on either side. The student can select between a single or double page layout. They can also zoom in on the text. They can also jump to a desired page number by entering the number here. The student can also decide to view the ebook in full screen mode. Ebooks also have an audio read aloud function. This will play back the text to the student, highlighting words as it goes along. The student can change the volume and the speed of the playback. For ebooks that have been assigned to a student by their teacher, the student can send messages. Simply enter the message into the text box and click send. A student can also send audio recordings. Click the audio recording button and wait for the prompt to allow Adobe Flash access to your microphone. Then click record and begin your recording. Once your recording is finished, simply press pause. The student can play back the message before sending it to their teacher. If they are satisfied, they can just click send. To view their messages, a student can click the View Messages button and they will see all of the messages between the student and their teacher for that particular title. There is also a quiz button on the top left that will link the student directly to the Literacy Pro quiz. The students can also view the messages by clicking the message button on the top right of the screen. Clicking on a message will link the student directly to that specific ebook. 
the collection screen shows all of the ebook collections that are available to a student. An ebook collection is a selection of titles that are grouped together based on a similar theme or topic. Click on the collection to expand into the individual titles. A student can then go on to read an ebook much like they would in the book screen. Once the student is finished using Literacy Pro Library, they can simply sign out.